You see, I, I, I came from, from a very, very uh, impoverished background, I, I could say, because uh, my mom died when I was just two and a half, uh, leaving myself and my younger brother and uh, seven kids to, to a poor, you know, impoverished father in the 60s. And this, you know, so we all grew up tough. Uh, from the age of five, I had to take responsibility for things. One thing that my father did for all of us, one thing that I, that I know he gave me abundantly was love. There was, there was, never, there was never any bitter, bitter words from his mouth. The, he was so religious. When you talk about religious, re, religiosity today, for him, I, I, I thought he was an angel when I compared him to what people call religion today. I was always an avid reader. I was always, I, 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 I read uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. One of my first book ever even that got me into self-development uh, would have been a book I read while I was still a young man in Nigeria, The Philosophical Essays by uh, Tom David West. Philosophical Essays. Writing books it's not something I set out in life to do. It was it wasn't actually. I, I I never I never thought about writing books. I've always taken interest in, in literatures and and English language and so on. But my my career path starting off in life uh, professionally is uh, accountancy. So I, I trained in accountancy. Uh, qualified as an accountant technician, then moved on to CIMA. Got a job in that line, and um, I progressed up to corporate uh, level. And when I felt dissatisfied, that was when it, this journey began. But it didn't start straight away. It wasn't something that I just woke up one night and said, "I want to write a book." No, I had uh, I taken this bold step of self-retirement from corporate engagement into self-employment set up my own businesses and all that, uh, traveling around the world and hoping to achieve the greatest success ever. Uh, for one time I had almost uh, 50 million uh, products to, to, to buy and, and, and sell and all that stuff. So all of that, you can see I've become a, a very big entrepreneur of my own with, uh, with partnerships around the world. We traded on things like fish and timber and so on. Commodities trading company. That fell through. Then we set up another company with a new partnership to go to Nigeria to source timber and all that. He, that he has buyers. So I went into partnerships. We all put up. You know, our, our, we all made all our own commitments. Threw everything into it and went sourcing that timbers. We brought almost four, 440 food containers into Ireland. Somehow, our lead, the man that took us into that business, wasn't everything he said he was, but his expertise and the market lead. So the, the products we brought in were not of the standard, and we could not sell. That broke me down. continue to strive, I continue to work hard, drive for, for success in many areas. Some of these things I was looking for, I thought was out there. But most of my intentions and actions were not in alignment with my subconscious self. And these are things we don't know most of the time. Look around you, you see, why do people do what they do when they know what they know? Why do we have all this education, all this information, all these ideas all over, and yet we fall short in character? But as an avid learner, as a lifelong learner, uh, 
and my curiosity never stops. I never stop questioning, never stop learning things, never stop reading more books. And that led me to more and more and more revelations about what actually drives us. The sixth sense came about when I stumbled into the books of uh, Dr. Emmett Fox, uh, Joseph Murphy, and, and uh, Neville Goodall's, and all the all all the all the books out there. I, I read more, I studied more, and then I realized that there is something more powerful. There's something more powerful than everything else that we can see by our own eyes, and that is our subconsciousness. And that subconsciousness happens to be the sixth sense because what drives us outwardly, our objective self, our consciousness, is actually made of five senses. What we see, what we smell, what we touch, what we, what we taste. Once we begin to see ourselves as part of everything, then we begin to take responsibility for our actions. Once we're able to change our inner being towards positive, towards things that matter, that makes sense to us, that makes sense to everybody, particularly embracing and encapsulating everything into love, the most powerful thing ever that, is, that is subco the subconscious response more to is love. Empower, empower your sixth sense with love. And responsibility. Everything else will fall into place. Everything else. Now the sixth sense is, is, is packed with tools, tools that can enable anyone who chooses to commit to it. Tools of affirmation that can help us redirect and re-engineer the subconscious and make us live more fulfilling life, much happier life, abundant life, Anyone, anyone that consciously, with an open mind, commits to the tools and concepts in this book, within 30 days, and for maximum effect, 90 days, that person would have 360 degree turnaround in their mental being. The paradigm shift would, would, the paradigm shift would, would, would be incredible. A situation whereby a situation that will arise that the person anyone that uses the concepts and the tools in that book will become more spiritually evolved will become will have clarity of purpose it's in that book and it's written in simple language very 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 simple language it's not a story handbook it's a book that one can open any page any page, any line will tell you something, will resonate with something that can help someone grow and be better. That's the purpose of that book. One thing for sure, fear will be driven out and love will set in. <laughs>